So, basically it's a dating app, but when two people match each other, they have to play games to unlock information about the other person. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I just, I didn't know we needed to bring our own code. Oh, uh, <laughs> we don't. I, um, I, I thought it would be nice to show it off to the developers here, get some new feedback. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think we're gonna be talking to the developers on our first day. Oh. I also don't think you need to wear a tie. What? Oh, come on, man. Don't, don't you wanna make a good impression? Make big moves here? Yeah, uh, the only moves we're gonna make is towards that coffee machine over there. For the employees. Oh, well. Regardless, I'm gonna do my best to stand out. I'm, I've got big dreams. You know, my goal is to be the next Kevin Systrom of the dating app world. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but that's really cool. <laughs> I'm trying to get my college credit so I can graduate. That's the CEO. We're launching in two weeks. It's gonna be our biggest app yet. Just you wait and see. That's what you said about the last three. At this point, the shareholders need to see some real results. Okay, well this time it's a sure thing. You know what, come into my office and I'll show you our first quarter projections. I didn't realize you hired some new people. Uh, I didn't realize either. I'm sorry, who are you guys again? It's an honor to meet you, gentlemen. Uh, I'm Joe. I just started here, and uh, this is David. Hello. Uh, what are you working on? Oh, uh... This is some new code. It combines game features with uh, the matchmaking process. It's very impressive. Uh... What program are you using? Python? It's actually a combination of Java and PHP, sir. That way I can process the game features faster while also allowing for less developer hours to make changes. Efficient and mindful of cost. I like the way he thinks. Uh, is he one of your new engineers? <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I'm sorry, what is your job title again? Well, I, um... I actually just started as an intern. Oh, but he's I'd an love intern. <laughs> they all think they're the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> you never know. I'd keep an eye on this one. I can see him definitely going places. Oh yeah, I see him going places too. I see him going straight into the break room to make us some coffee. How do you take yours? Uh, two creams. Two creams for Albert. You heard them in now. Off you go, boys. Yes, sir. Oh, you know what, hold on. You, uh, <clears throat> do you mind meeting me in my office in just like a second? Yeah, of course. Thank you. <clears throat> I would appreciate it if you kept your little homework assignment to yourself. I don't want my shareholders thinking that you somehow represent my company. Okay, but he seemed to like it. I like was it. just being polite, okay? You're an intern. You're barely an adult. What could you possibly know about developing an app? But sir, I've been doing <laughs> it. But, but, but nothing, you're an intern, okay? I want to see you sorting mail and making coffee, all right? Stay in your lane, right? Uh, and I will take two creams in my coffee as well. Thank you. Now, off you go. Goodbye. Oh, head away. Ah. Can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mean to intrude. I, I was just, um, I was admiring your work. Uh, you know Code Kid? Yeah. Yeah, I've been writing it since I was 10. I'm hoping I can be in here working with you guys one of these days. Wow, since you were 10. Guess it's true what they say. You are never too young to go after your dreams. I 100% agree with that. You must be Edward, head of engineering. I saw your picture in the break room. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thank you. Well, let me know if there's anything I can ever help you with. Oh, wait. Do you want to take a look at something? Sometimes it helps to get a fresh set of eyes. Of course. What's up? I've been working on these few lines of code for a while and I keep running into a logic error. I'm curious to see what you've got. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you mind if I uh, take, take a look? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I see what's going on. You do? Mm-hmm. It looks like you don't just have a logic error in here. Have you taken a look at what's in this array? It should just be the meta details. I think there's an index error hiding in here. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. And that should do it. 
You want to take a look? What in the world is going on here? Oh, I was just helping Edward with the code, you know. He... I asked him to. You're my senior engineer. Why would you ask a child for help? And you, little man, are you trying to run my company into the ground? No, sir, not at all. I was... Give me that. You're not at home playing video games, okay? This is real life. You probably just broke something. Edward, will you please fix whatever he just messed up? Thank you. And you, from now on, leave the coding to the developers, okay? And next time I see you, you better be sorting mail or handing out coffee. And if you're not, I am going to fire you. Do we have an understanding? With all due respect. You know what? I don't want to hear it! Do we have an understanding? Edward, he didn't sabotage anything too bad, did he? No, as a matter of fact, he just caught something the entire team couldn't. He probably just saved us all a day of work, at least. Okay, well, how incompetent can you be? If you need an intern to do your work for you, maybe I should be paying you what I pay him, which is nothing. I just don't think there's any way we're gonna be able to get all those features done in time for version one. Okay, well then how are we any different from Tinder or any of the other hundreds of dating apps out on the market, okay? We, we need something unique, people, if we are going to be better than all of them. So you really think we're gonna be bigger than Tinder? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't hear that. Can you speak up? Can you, yeah. Did you have something you wanted to share with the group, Edward? Yeah. No, I didn't think so. <sighs> Okay, we need something that is going to make us stand out. I'm not sure if there's enough time to add any new features before launch. She's right. Can't we just push back the launch? Now that, people, that right there is a great idea. Push back the launch date, and then um, we can put a big sign out in front of the building that says, FAILURES! Push back the launch. We've already done that twice, Edward, and the shareholders are breathing down my neck as it is. What if we added customizable interfaces, like you could make your profile pink or add... You mean kind of like MySpace in 2005, <laughs> That's adorable. People! You all got fancy schmancy degrees at very expensive schools, and not one of you has come up with a decent idea. You better be raising that hand, asking me if I want sugar in my coffee. No, I have a suggestion. Okay, little man, how many times have I told you to stay in your lane? Give him a chance to speak, Calvin. What have you got to lose? Isn't that the kid that fixed his syntax error? I like to hear what he has to say. Me too. Okay, fine. I will give you 30 seconds, and then you go back to sorting mail. Go. Okay, well, it's basically a code that I already made. It processes game material on a dating app platform without slowing things down. If we implement it into the script, that would allow for some really cool add-ons. But, 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 but what is this, this code that this person is talking about? Has anybody seen this code? I have, <clears throat> um, but I really think this could work. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, if the other intern thinks it could actually work, then I'm sold. I mean, his idea would definitely be unique. I've never seen that done before. Yeah. I think it's pretty genius. Like, words with friends for dating. Exactly. And all this code is already written. Yep. All I need to do is migrate it over to the production server and run some tests on it. If it's already done, then there's a small chance we can actually make it by the deadline. But the question is, does this code actually work? I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, I I haven't tested it with real live users, but theoretically it should. Okay, so the answer is it only works if nobody uses it. That's great. <laughs> There's only two days left. Unless you want to upload V1 without any additional features, I suggest we try this. Is two days even enough time? I'd need to pull some all-nighters, but so long as I have some caffeine in me, I should be fine. Maybe you can help. Yes, yes, I, I can make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best shot we have. What do you say? Okay, fine. I will give you a chance. And if it works, you will become part of my development team as of Monday. Really? And if it doesn't work, you get your stuff and you get out of here. And 
I call every single person I have ever met in Silicon Valley and make sure that you never work in tech again. How's that sound, little man? Yes, sir. I understand. I, I won't let you down. Yeah, don't. All right, well, what are y'all doing sitting here? Get back to work. Welcome to the development team, even if it is just for 48 hours. Shall I show you to your desk? Uh, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. What should I start working on first? You tell me. You're in charge. Joe walks off excited to join the development team, while also hoping he made the right decision. He's given a desk and starts working right away trying to add his gaming feature to the app launch. He works all day and all night, even long after everyone else has left. Well, mostly everyone that is. Joe pulls an impressive 48 hours straight. Regardless of how tired he gets, he keeps pushing through to try and make the deadline. And then comes the day of the launch. Hey, Joe, hey, wake up, man. What time is it? What time is it? It's three minutes to eight. Everyone's literally coming up right now. Did you finish it? I think so. Um, let me just... Yeah, all done. I just need the go signal to take it all live. All right, I hope it works. Me too. Here. Thanks. Ah. Okay, people, we are taking this thing live in two minutes. Are you ready, kid? Yes, sir, I just finished, just in time. All right, everybody to your stations, please. Uh, you, get me a coffee. Everybody, listen, be on your A games today. Please, we cannot have any hiccups. All the shareholders will be watching. Everything's looking good so far, but there aren't any users yet. That'll be the real test. All right, well, the, uh, the email blast with the ads and the press release, it's gonna go live in about one minute. So this better work, kid. It, well, I'm pretty confident. Oh, have you load tested the servers? Yeah, I did. They're all set to AWS to auto scale, so we should be able to handle however much traffic we get. But we do need real live users to make sure. Okay, here we go. Edward, take us live in five, four, three, two, one. We're live. <laughs> we did it. I did, 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 did relax. Don't celebrate just yet. Let's make sure that everything is running smoothly. Everything's looking good so far. We have 5,000 people downloading the app already. No, no way. Yeah, and the servers are holding up just fine. 10,000 downloads. 10,000? Are, are you serious? Like, and there are no errors coming in? Ah, the load's not even spiking. We just rolled another 10 servers. The scaling seems to be doing great. Yeah, we're looking solid. 25,000 downloads in process and counting. 25,000, 25,000 downloads, are you kidding me? Like, that's unbelievable. Our last app did not have 25,000 downloads in its first year, I can't. You, I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to the team. Uh-oh. What, uh -oh, what does the uh-oh mean? Why is she saying uh-oh? Shoot, uh, we've got a problem. What, what is the problem? Tell me what the problem is. Uh, Tell me now uh, what the problem is. Some of the servers seem to be faulty. We're lagging hard. What, what, what? The app just crashed. No, 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 no. Get us back up online, quick. Little little man, go do something. It's probably something to do with the AWS. I'll, I'll do what I can. Oh, and terrific. Albert is calling already. Nope, goodbye. Uh, let me just go to the server room so I can fix something. And oh, you know what? Forget it. Don't touch anything. This is probably your fault. Hey, don't get mad at Joe. There's there's a number of reasons why this could have happened. You do not defend him. I knew I should not have trusted this kid. He probably has no idea what he is doing. And Albert is calling me again. Well, just give me a chance. No more chances for you. You know what? I've had it. Get out of here. You're fired. No, Calvin, don't do this. I just did it. Little man, you're not listening to me. There's the door. I said, get out of here. You are fired. Wait, just let Wait me. Wait for nothing. I don't want to hear it from you anymore. You're trying to run my business into the ground. Get out. Hi, Albert. Yeah, 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 no, no, don't, don't, don't worry. Everything is fine. It's just a little technical difficulty. It's uh, nothing to be concerned about. We will be back up online in a minute. Yeah, 
I know what you're thinking. If I had another hour, I could fix everything. No. No, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm a failure. I'm a loser, I suck. I really wanted this job to work out. Maybe I'm just not a developer. Why, because you couldn't handle 25,000 concurrent users on your first ever launch? None of the people in there could handle a fraction of what you just did. Calvin's right. I'm just an intern. I should have stayed in my lane. No, you are a coder. One of the best I've ever seen, hands down. Yeah, a coder who is never gonna work in Silicon Valley again. You heard what Calvin said. Do you think that Calvin has that kind of power? His park is a lot worse than his bites. I'm honestly more worried about him finding work again if this app doesn't work out. He doesn't have the best track record. Well, that makes me feel even worse, considering my code is what crashed the entire app. Have you ever thought that maybe your code isn't meant for Calvin's app? It's meant for yours. What are you saying? I'm saying you're a smart kid and you are a risk taker. That's a good combination. You should be making your own apps. But I'm only 18 years old. Well, then it's a good thing you 100% agree. You are never too young to go after your dreams. You're right. Wow, I, I can't believe I almost forgot that. You don't need Calvin. You don't need this job. All you need is this and maybe some funding. Oh, yeah. Where am I supposed to find that? Who do you think helped Calvin find his funding? Let me take care of it. Really? We you do that for me? I don't want it to seem like charity. I will want a percentage, but that can come later. For now, get your app working and give me a call when you have a prototype, all right? Yes. Thank you so much, Edward. I, I am never going to forget this. You see, maybe it's a good thing that you got fired. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's exactly how I'm going to explain it to my parents. Oof. Good luck, kid. <laughs> Joe is once again excited to go after his dream. He spends all day and night coding again. Except this time, it's for his own app. He works harder than he's ever worked before. And after many all-nighters, he finally completes his first prototype. A few weeks later, Edward sets up a meeting with the well-known investor. It doesn't take long for the investor to be convinced to help fund the app. Joe couldn't be more excited. Over time, Joe opens his own office Edward becomes his CFO and David becomes his COO. Together, they all create one of the top dating apps in the world, with so many users buzzing about their innovative features. And then one day, Joe gets a visit from an unexpected person. Uh, who am I meeting again today? He says he used to work with you. Calvin? <laughs> hey, long time no see. What brings you here? Well, you know, it's funny. I was reading a magazine and for some reason you just uh, popped into my head. Oh, <laughs> I hate that picture. I cringe every time I see oh, it. Come on, come on. Hey, it is amazing how well your app is doing. Congratulations. I am just so proud of you. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, I, I could say it's all thanks to you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, if you hadn't fired me, I probably never would have started my own business. Oh, well, see, I am I am glad to have been part of your journey. Yeah, well, you didn't have to come all the way out here to tell me that. Uh, an email would have been just as good. Oh, no, 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 no. I am here with an offer. An offer? A job or? Uh, no, 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 no. Here, sit down. <clears throat> I would like to buy your company. Oh, yeah? Yeah, an all-stock deal. I give you 10% of my company in exchange for 100% ownership of yours. You'd do that for me? 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, a young, smart guy like you knows an opportunity when he sees it, right? I mean, you could go anywhere. Live on a beach in Costa Rica or something. Like, never work another day in your life. Do you mind me asking how much revenue your company has? Well, I, I none right now because our, our, our app hasn't taken off yet. But when it does, it is going to be huge. I'm, I'm talking billions. You'll see. Mm -hmm. So you're asking me for 100% ownership of my company in exchange for 10% stock of a company that makes zero revenue? <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're on track for 50 million this year. You are? Mm-hmm. With a 300% year-over-year growth rate. Isn't that right, Edward? Sorry, but we're not interested. Come on. At least think about it. No. Sorry, there's no way I'm going to change my mind. Okay, you know what, little man? You are going to live to regret it. Hey. Are you new here? Yes, sir. I'm an intern. It's an honor to meet you. If you'd like any coffee or need help with any of your mail, I'm your person. That'd be great, thanks. You know, Alex here was actually just telling me some good ideas that he had on uh, some new features that we could maybe add into the app. Oh, huh. is that so? Yeah, I know it's probably hard to believe because I'm young. No, not at all. You know, uh, a wise person once told me, you're never too young to go after your dreams. I love that. If you ever have a moment, I'd love to show you some new code I was working on. You know what? I have a moment right now. You want to step into my office? That sounds great. So, coding, what school are you guys? Uh, you better be on your best behavior, young man. What are you doing? You're not supposed to have your shoes on in the house. You're now his third sitter. The other two quit. I do have a pretty special way with kids. Can't be drinking! Quiet, twerp! Now this is how it's gonna go. 